In this video, I will teach you how to use Stairs Automatic Dimensioning Tools in Revit's Auto Dimension Pack. We are going to create some callout plans and sections for stairs first, and then we're going to place our dimensions. Of course, you can go right ahead and use the dimensioning tools in the normal plan view and section view, but for this instance, we're going to create callout first. I'm going to use a scale of 125 for our callouts. Select the stair callout plans tool. Select all the stairs you wish to create callouts, callouts for, and then click finish. In the section view, repeat the process with the stair section tool. I'm going to use the same scale 1 to 25 and now we have our section callouts for stairs i'm going to the callout view from the dimension style list here i'm going to choose which dimensioning style I wish to use. Activate the stairs in plan tool. Select the stair and then pick two points on the screen where you wish to place your dimensions. The picked points should be in order, in the same order in the same direction for the stairs up direction. Of course, you can also dimension the stair run or landing width. Press escape when you're finished. If you wish to dimension stairs with equation, you can do so from the configuration panel select dimension stairs with equation click ok activate the tool and follow the same steps and now stairs will be dimensioned with an equation number of threads the lengths for each thread and the total I'm going to the collat view for the stairs. You can use the stairs section tool. Pick a stair and dimension will be placed. Of course, you can also choose two dimension stairs with an equation or to dimension each thread or riser like so going back to plan views there's also a tool you can use to place landing elevations automatically this will be very handy in steers that have multiple landings 